ITS. You might ever hear that we're running out of fresh water. Indeed, it might sound strange and unreal to you because if you live in a place where water flows freely from your tap in the bathroom or kitchen at any time, it sure does not seem like a big deal. The water is just there, right? But it's wrong. Hi, I'm Nabila Chandra, representing Institute Technology 10 November for the selection of the most outstanding student 2023. Clean water is very essential to life. We need to think about it carefully. Why? Because access to safe water, sanitation, and hygiene is the most basic human need for health and well-being. Imagine, according to the World Health Organization, approximately 2.2 million people die every year due to lack of access to safe drinking water and basic sanitation. This means an average of 6,027 deaths per day or four deaths every single minute. I haven't yet mentioned any other diseases like diarrhea, dysentery, cholera, typhoid, and so on and so forth. Right now, at this very moment, some people in developing countries like Africa, South America, and even some part in Indonesia need to walk miles and miles and hours each day to get fresh water. The head that's supposed to be used to think and to generate idea is being used to carry water to sustain life of other people in their family. And even then, it may not be clean. I am both specialist and sad. I grew up having clean water run from my tap in the kitchen and bathroom. It was so hard for me to imagine not having water growing up. But now I understand how lucky I was. But indeed, this is tragic. The scarcity of water is a global issue. So I want you to rethink and reconsider how much you value of water, how much it matters for the flourishing of human and unhuman life on Earth, now and in the future. Many people assume that clean water shortages are due to individual wastefulness, running the water while you brush your teeth, or taking a really long shower, right? And most of us think that water shortages can be fixed by changing our personal habits, like taking a shower shower. But global clean water shortages need to start nor end from your bathroom. For your information, the domestic use of clean water accounts for only 8% of consumption. Just 8%. And where are the other numbers? 70% of that goes to agriculture and 22% goes to industrial uses. It means that agricultural and industrial pattern of water use need a serious attention. Most of the time, agricultural and industrial waste are not being recycled. Besides, it is just prone to the river, to the sea and ocean. It impacts two things. First, the unrecycled wastewater is unable to be used at least for the company itself, unless it is being processed. Secondly, the water is being polluted, causing a really bad sanitation access to the local people. Moreover, it is extremely bad for the sea ecosystem as well. And never forget that the business of fresh water begins very profitable in nowadays. Many companies see clean water as an economic commodity. I started to think, how our society value water? Is it a human right? Is it a public good? Or is it an economic commodity? Well, this sounds too overwhelming to comprehend because the clean water problem is a global problem. The scope may be too big to think. We may say, oh, I'm just a student. It's not my things to do. Or, well, that's the company problem then, not mine. Well, yeah, you might be right. But remember, we are still part of this puzzle. We should still cultivate water virtue in our daily life. Even if it was true, taking shadow shower wouldn't solve any global problems, which is too bad. But my intention is one, value clean water because not all of us is able to have it easily and take small action as the form of our gratitude to have all the easiness for clean water and sanitation. Small actions like supporting organization that works toward providing clean water and sanitation to people in developing country while still cultivating our usage in daily basis will be so much helpful. Or taking part in environmental action like cleaning rivers while not polluting it, everything is on you. We read books, hear stories, and watch films about the apocalyptic scenarios and frighten ourselves. Now we are raising an event which is more disastrous than any other film. Yet, will many companies invest in the development of infrastructure for clean water in many areas? We don't know. However, one thing is true. Clean water and sanitation is also our future need. Are we just going to shrug it off? That's all from me. Thank you very much.